Joining us is Matt Morris, the filmmaker behind Watermelon Man, Pickin' and Trimmin', and Mr. Happy Man, a film that follows a lovable Bermudian man who greets the island commuters each day with a wave and a smile. So, I mean, your films have a lot of, uh, of the similar themes. So, you know, Watermelon Man, Pickin' and Trimmin', uh, Mr. Happy Man, they, you know, they all you know, have these great storylines, these great narratives. How do you find these people? How do you find these stories? Uh, it's just sort of by accident. Uh, the first one, uh, Pickin' and Trimmin', it was in a local newspaper, it said there's this barber shop out in the mountains of North Carolina that they've been there, one guy cutting hair 60 years, the other one 45 years. Every weekend, bluegrass musicians jam in the back room kind of just for fun. There's no real audience, it's not a performance. Uh, and so I went and I checked it out, it was great, and I did the film. Uh, Watermelon Man, uh, Pickin' and Trim played here at Mountain Film, and I really wanted to come back to Mountain Film, and I didn't have a film. And so I asked Emily Long, the uh, program coordinator here, I said, well, so you guys have a theme every year. What's, what's your theme? She said, food. And I said, when's your deadline? And she said, two months. I said, I will get you a short, easy to program, entertaining film about food in two months. And so I went online, I was like, okay, North Carolina farmers, food, anything. And I found this guy, Vern Weiser, who's just a really quirky watermelon farmer uh, who was told by God to write children's books. And so I did the film about him. And after that, I always joked at festivals. I said, uh, if anyone has any ideas, I'm going for a quirky old man trilogy. I want a box set of DVDs. <laughs> so if you got another guy that, that I can talk to, that would be great. And then I found out about Johnny Barnes. So it's sort great. of self-fulfilling prophecy. I'm just a little Johnny Barnes. I'm just a little small instrument in the hand of God to be used any way he feels fit. What I do every day, two o'clock in the morning, I'm getting my breakfast. You're still sleeping, I guess. <laughs> From 20 to 4 until 10, I stand on the corner and just greet people, let them know that life is sweet, life is beautiful. No matter what happens in life, it's always sweet to be alive. Enjoy the sunshine, the flowers, the birds. They're happy. The good Lord and I just try to make people happy. I used to work in the railway. The railway came right through there, you know. Before they made that a highway, there used to be a wall. I used to sit on the wall in my lunch hour and just shout out to people. I love you. Have a good day, you know? So it started way back there when I was on the railway, electrician on the railway. And um, I enjoy it. I enjoy making people happy. Hey, David! Well, thank you. Beautiful day! I love, I love, I love, I love, I love.